All right, guys, I'm going to give you a sample tonight, a sound sample. I'm going to use the same song I played the other night when I first introduced the new components um, because I think it's a good indicator of what I'm going to do here. I'm going to give you a chance to compare a single-ended triode. Um, this is in triode mode, though. There's a couple of switches. You can see the toggle switches right down there at about... Uh, about one o'clock, about eleven o'clock here. I can switch between um, single-ended triode and ultra-linear pentode, but I'm in triode mode now. I'm going to give you a chance to hear my system uh, with only one substitution. Single-ended triode class A vacuum tube KT150 uh, tubes versus the Class A bipolar junction transistor uh, amplifier stage of the Luxman, which is uh, not single-ended, it's a push-pull, but it's uh, it's basically a battle of tubes, vacuum tubes versus uh, transistors. And I thought that would be interesting just to get a sample of uh, all things being the same except vacuum tubes versus transistors only in the amplifier stage. In terms of the system, this is perhaps the most organic system in, uh, in terms of signal path. It's uh, the most organic signal path system that I've ever owned. I'm really happy with it. Uh, beginning with the DAC, we're going to stream to the DAC. You can see the song that I'm using is uh, 88.2 slash 96 kilohertz. So, uh, um, uh, bit depth of 88.2, uh, sampling rate of 96 kilohertz. Not bad. Um, though this is ultimately a 16-bit DAC, though, because it's using new old stock. I'm, I'm not new old stock. It's using Philips TDA 1543 chips, very simple chips known for their musicality. They have been used in some high-end equipment in the past. I love them. They get the, the job done quickly. They have a current output. There's no op amps and um, in, in, in line with them to convert the current to voltage. So the current output in this, um, in this configuration here is being fed into uh, vacuum tubes, in this case 6922s, which are also E88CCs. They're dual triodes, class A. So the output analog signal is fed into the C8. The C8 uses 12 AX7s, all dual triodes, and, and they're all class A. The output of the Macintosh is fed into the uh, the, uh, uh, the Suono Lab 12 Class A single-ended Class A single-ended uh, triode power amplifier. So it's a remarkable system, and the sound is <clears throat> quite incredible. But I, the point behind tonight, I'm going to get into that later. But the point behind tonight is let's. Just simply take a song and compare single-ended <clears throat> amplification only triode vacuum tube versus bipolar junction transistor. And I'll be using just the output stage of this, just the amplifier stage, no preamp, bypassing that going. Uh, there's a little button called separate and I can separate the preamplifier from the amp and I'm feeding this into the amplifier only. So I'm just using the amplifier stage of the Luxman to give you a sample uh, to see if you can tell the difference. I'm not going to tell you what I hear. I'm going to get it, just going to leave it to you to see if you can hear the difference between transistors and vacuum tubes, both in class A. BJTs versus <clears throat> KT150s in triode mode. All right, just something interesting, quick video I'm throwing together. I'll get back to the rest of this stuff later. Stereo police, hope you enjoy it. Fun. Oh, and of course I'm feeding the uh, Clips Cornwall 3s, which are fan effing tastic. My favorite speaker of all time, of any speaker I've ever heard, including all those high dollar speakers I heard at Cap Audio Fest. I'm still a fan of the Cornwall 3s. All right, so let's get on with the, t the, um, the comparison and the sound samples, and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, talk to you all real soon. Stereo police, ciao.
flashing open through the window on the unmade bed. On the unmade bed. Evening. Through the window